Yo, what's going on guys? It's Mr. Skater here and I have some awesome news to share with you guys today. I am officially partnered with Control Freak, which is great because I've been a user of their products for like eight years now. Ever since I started playing Call of Duty and Xbox, I've been using them. I've been talking about it on this channel for a while and I'm happy to be involved with something that I actually use a lot and can like really endorse because I'm a big fan of their products. So they sent me a little welcome package right here with various items inside of it. So I thought we'd do a little unboxing, like a little mini review. And in the process of the video and unboxings, I've explained how these things work for those of you that don't know how they work because they help you improve your aim, improve movement and things like that. So if you do know or you are interested in, you know, maybe copying some control freaks, I do have some links down below in the description and a code I'll flash on the screen right now. It's Sin Skater. Talk about that more in the end of the video, but that'll help you get 10% off on uh, your purchases and will help me out of course and help support the channel and i do want to mention they did send me this package they did not ask me to unbox it on camera or do a video or anything like that i just chose to do this on my own because you know why not so i just wanted to throw that out there to be clear so we're gonna go ahead and go to the desk behind me and get like my hand shot with my beautiful ugly man hands and we'll unbox this thing close up these things are kind of small uh so we'll get nice and details and like that so let's let's go on over all right, so here we have it. Here's the package. Here's my current controller right here. You can see my control freaks I have on right now. This one glows in the dark. It's pretty nice. Here it is. Let's go ahead and tear this bad boy open and see what we have inside because I don't know. I just know that there's multiple things here from feeling it. So we first things first is we have a nice control freak sticker. We have oh sweet. Hey, you know what? I actually like legit was just about to uh, try these out there. We're gonna actually try these on. This is awesome. I never actually tried these before. These are their grips. And um, again, obviously these uh, give your controller more grip, which means less slip. And also I think it helps with sweat, which I kind of have a problem with when I can use my controller, which is also why this isn't in the box, but I actually have this right down here too. I'll tell you, I use their products. We have this... Uh, Pure asset protection. You can spray it as a cloth inside. Um, the spray inside, you spray it down, and you can wipe your controller and get all that sweat off. So this should help with that, which would be awesome. We'll have to open that up soon too. We have oh hey, my roommate has these FPS Freaks Galaxy. Um oh these actually come with one low one and one concave one. Well um again I'm gonna take everything out first and then we'll go in depth with what these things do. The Destiny 2 themed edition um ghost control freaks. These have an interesting design on them too. The oh there's one more thing in there. We have actually these are brand new. Wow, these are really low. Interesting. Um the Omni Performance thumb uh thumbsticks, these are brand new. I believe they came out this like a couple weeks ago. So definitely open those up and put them on and try them on. And then lastly, some clean, a nice little mini packet of clean freak wipes, which I'm guessing is kind of just like this stuff in a wipe form. So I'll have to try that out as well. So we have all of this stuff right here. Um before we actually open this stuff up, you guys can skip forward in this video, probably a minute or two, but I want to explain how these things work um you can see this is the standard size one they have a bunch of different sizes as i told you these ones are like super super small they're smaller than these ones but what these things do is obviously they're thumbstick extenders and the science behind this is they give you more range of motion compared to we'll take this one off just for say when you have this compared to this your thumb gets to move more gives you more range of motion which means you can finer tune your thumbstick positioning in like say fps games which lets you aim a lot easier the extended range also makes for less resistance um like when you're moving and stuff so it's easier to move the stick around compared to like doing this and it's like all cramped up and stuff so you don't have to use as much force to do your crosshair so uh you might notice when you're playing you might uh like try to aim at people and you're be jerk like it's not like this but your uh your reticle on the screen will like jerk across what you're trying to aim at you might notice that this will definitely help smooth those out and also just having your thumbs up higher for me is more comfortable than having it like really low like this it just feels really cramped when you don't have a thumbstick extender and this just feels way more comfortable that's just to me but that's pretty much how they work these are the two i use right now i'm actually going to open up all these things we're going to open up these omnis first i want to see these things are really really low so these things i know they advertise i saw this like on my twitter feed the other day felt like i was taking too long for that but you can see how small these things actually are if it'll focus there we go these things are 
thin. They're finely faux. You can see how thin that is. So that's like uber thin. So throw these on. These don't really give you much. Um, so I just did a little research before I botched this. These actually match my controller pretty well. First thing to say, but uh, these give you a little bit more raise to give you a little bit more aim precision. But you can tell one of the big things I forgot to mention too is control freaks give you a lot more surface area to work with. I mean, you can see that like covers the whole the whole analog stick. It gives you more like thumbstick to work with instead of these smaller ones. So you throw that on there. That's what that first does. Also, again, giving you more grip, giving you a little bit more uh, raise for a little bit more control. If you don't like the really high ones, these will actually probably be good if you never use these. And um, again, like I said, you first start off with them. They're kind of awkward to use. All my friends, I try to get them to try like these things. How do these help you? They're weird. They don't help. You gotta give like two weeks to get used to it, and then like you never want to get rid of them. But these might be like nice transition ones. Then you can gradually go up. Um, but also, if you guys like, uh, I know they have different like convex and concave ones. They probably make these in concave or similar ones in concave or convex. I don't know which one goes up, like the PS4 thumbsticks. You can get like different thumbsticks for uh, your Xbox control if you don't like it. So those are the Omnis right there. Looks nice. Has a nice grip to them. Um, bam. So we have the Destiny 2 ones. We'll crack these open real quick and see how these things work. I'm just going to fail. I'm just going to skip. And these are what they look like. They're nice little ghost design. They have, they're not like a smooth top. There you can see they have a little bit of a ridge to them, which will probably feel different. So let me throw these on and see how they are. These are, ooh, those do feel weird. These are like uh, the CQC kind of height. They're not super tall. They're a little bit lower. And yeah, these, ooh. Not sure if I am a particular fan of these, but they are definitely a lot harder than my control freaks. I use like these ones. Um... I feel like my finger slips off a little bit, but that just may be because they are, they're like a hybrid between like a complete flat top and the PS4 type dome sticks, which I'm not used to. I'm used to the, uh, you know, the dipping Xbox One ones. But uh, yeah, those are those ones for you right there. Looking pretty stylish, giving me some weight to my controller, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and open those Galaxy ones up real quick. So the FPS Freak Galaxy, which is actually what my roommate uses. Ooh, there's no tape on this side, making for an easy unboxing. Ooh, this came out easy too. Look at that. That's usually how you unbox them. I'm just a noob. And you can take them off just like that. And you can see these are actually ones I like. Ooh. We'll pop these on right here. You can see one is smaller, one is bigger. That's how I like to have them set up. Usually I'll get like one CQC stick and one Ultra stick or the two sticks I use. So I'll mix and match those. But you can just get the Galaxy one if you want one of each. And these have a nice little uh, dome type feel to them. And they also have like a nice little textured grip. So you get a little more grip when you're using them. And um, yeah, you know, that's just how they look. They help you move your aim more. I mean, not really much else to explain. I really like these blue ones. They make my controller look dope. Yo, control for yes, you can make these in like the uh, the Ultra Stick or the CQC, CQC Stick, just like that. That'd be dope. That looks dope on that controller. I'm not gonna lie. But last but not least, which I am excited to try out, are these Control Freak Grips. One pair of grips, peel and stick application. So again, just did some research to see if these. I know uh, there was this older company I was looking at getting something like these and there was a complaint that the adhesive when you try to take these off would um would leave residue on the controller these ones don't seem to do so well if you take them off slowly and if they do we got some some clean free to take care of that but uh instructions you can see inside maybe you uh clean your controller surface and then apply them just like that so let's do that real quick because I actually want to try these things on I've been wanting these for a while I've just been broke and haven't uh had money to buy them so hold up, no offense, we're going to apply this to this controller, it's my secondary controller. I just, you know, the black does not really go with this controller scheme and just, just looks awesome, especially with these grips on it. So I'm just going to toss it to the side. We're going to apply these onto this right now. So go ahead, this is the left one, and you go and peel this back um, somehow. A few moments later. Ooh, that's sticky. So bam, there just like that. Again, this is the left one. So we'll start with the wait left is this side yeah so you match it up with the controller like that almost though i don't want to stick that first one make sure i get the front side gone right oh we're failing at this hardcore right now hold up okay there we go so got it aligned there it looks so oh that black and black and white controller looks awesome so you go ahead and line that up just like that and you can see special creases and cuts in here so you make sure that it applies 
nicely all the way around just like that. Look at that. Beautiful. Perfect. And there you have one grip applied just like that. This side also has a little Control Freak Shield logo. I didn't notice that. Nice. Wow, there's really no stick right there. I just peeled that off pretty fast. Nice. <laughs> so you can tell I messed this up. We're going to reapply. And button pressing right there. Nice, perfect, nice and flat. And there you have it. There are your Control Freak grips, which are kind of not identical. I'm going to have to read. This side's perfect. This side's a little too far over. A little imbalanced, but there. That's how you have it. And um, they feel first impressions. Wait, hold up, hold up. Gotta get the control freaks on. We gotta be all control for everything right here. I mean, my hand's just sweating right now because I have all this light on me. And uh, my hand doesn't slip, you know? It's pretty nice and good. I don't know how long they'll last and absorb sweat for. That'll be a couple week long test. But it feels very good. It feels a lot more sturdy in my hand than this. I can feel my fingers kind of slipping or my palms slipping a little bit in here. This, it feels, this controller feels lighter than this one too. I don't know if it's because I got a nice grip on it or what but it feels i feel like i have more control and grip in it and um sweat is not a problem so i'm gonna have to give these a test drive um use this control with these nice little new control freaks like, i'll try these new destiny ones out too and then i'll have to swap between these two controllers and try this stuff out and I'm like, bam this is actually a lot longer than i thought it would i didn't think i'd be uh doing that much stuff but there you have it control freak there with the omni sticks there with that and then we have these fps freaks and my old ones that are back here and all nasty and stuff but yeah um Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, if you guys have any questions about these, let me know down below in the comments. But basically, in short, control freaks help you improve your aim and they are pretty awesome. I've been using them again for eight years and I can definitely recommend them. I've recommended them before without even being a partner with them. I'll continue to do so. That's why I'm happy to uh, finally have this partnership. So again, if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, they have a variety of different control freak sticks. I might throw some on the screen right now. They have long ones, like really tall ones, short ones. They have game themed ones like Destiny, Call of Duty, not just FPS, but they have ones for racing, one for games like Sea of Thieves. They have them for the Nintendo switch they support xbox one and ps4 i'm not sure if they still do 360 i know they did back in the day and a ps3 you have to check that out yourself they also have like youtuber themed ones like t martin ali i'll throw that out there even though you should use my code and you know use all that stuff but uh yeah if you guys are interested in any of that stuff again they have a you know apparel uh grips and stuff like that controller skins if you guys are interested in any of that stuff you can use my code s-y-n-s-k-8-r it's sin skater you see it on the screen it's linked down below in the description there's also a link to control freak site down there and you can get 10 percent off for any purchase from their site and i get a little kickback so you guys help support the channel that way too um and again i highly recommend you do these things i'm not just like you know this isn't just like hey i can partner with control free use my code give me free stuff you know i actually use this stuff for a while and you know if you're a long time subscriber you can back me up on that so hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys have any questions about them let them know down below in the comments but uh if you guys haven't already subscribed future content like this gaming content all that cool stuff leave a like if you guys liked it don't hit that button because you want to hit that button and my name is Andrew and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace out